Module 3, Lesson 4. Objective. Add fractions with sums between 1 and 2. Here we have 3 fourths plus 1 third. Let's draw area models for 3 fourths plus 1 third, what it is that that means. So we have 3 fourths first. We'll divide this into 4 parts. And we're looking at three of those parts. So there's one fourth, two fourths, and three fourths. And we're putting that together with one third. And for one third, instead of drawing vertically, we'll draw horizontally for one third. We'll divide it into three parts. So there are two lines there. And we're looking at one of those thirds. So there is one third. And there is three-fourths. When we add them together, let's see what it is that we get. We'll make equivalent fractions for three-fourths and make equivalent fractions for one-third so that we have that same denominator. We'll start with three-fourths just as before and then since we're adding one-third to it, using the area model, we'll divide it into three parts, drawing those two horizontal lines there. Now, instead of three-fourths, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have nine, and there's total of them there now is twelve. You notice that this is three rows by four columns. Three by four is twelve. That's the denominator there. For one-third, much the same way, I'll have one-third looking exactly the same way to begin with. And then just as I drew three lines to divide that into four parts there, I'll do the same thing here with four vertical lines this time. And then so that one-third is equal to one, two, three, four. One-third is equal to four, and the total of parts again now is twelve. So now I have three-fourths, which is equal to nine-twelfths, plus one-third, which is equal to four-twelfths, and I'm adding them together. I do get thirteen-twelfths, and thirteen-twelfths is bigger than one. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 twelfths already. 13 twelfths is 12 twelfths plus one more twelfth. 12 twelfths is equal to 1. And then we have 1 plus 1 twelfth, which is 1 and 1 twelfth. So 3 fourths plus 1 third does equal 1 and 1 twelfth. Here I have 3 fourths plus 2 sevenths. And then so let me go ahead and draw what 3 fourths is and draw what 2 sevenths is. For 3 fourths, draw vertical lines. We're looking at fourths. And we're looking at 3 of those. For 2 sevenths, again it's the denominator to know how many parts we're dividing that into. That's 7. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines to divide that into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 equal parts. And I'm looking at 2 of those parts, or 2 sevenths. And then let me shade that in. And this again was 3 fourths. Now what I'll do is I'll draw the arrow here showing that we're making equivalent fractions for 3 fourths and for 2 sevenths. We call that getting a common denominator. So we need an equivalent fraction for 3 fourths. We can start with 3 fourths, and again we'll draw our 6 lines to divide into 7 parts. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And if we count up the number of parts, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, which makes sense. So that's 7, 14, and 21. 
and then let's make sure I actually shade in those little parts there too. So that's 21. Twenty-one, twenty-eight. Let's go over here. Three fourths. That'd be times seven. Times seven, which is equal to twenty-one, twenty-eight. If I was to use that number approach to be able to show that, in much the same way, I will get an equivalent fraction for two sevenths. Let's start with the sevenths first. Two, three, four, five, and six to divide it into um, seven parts, and we're looking at two of those parts. And then vertically, in those vertical lines, I had four vertical partitions. So I had to draw three lines, one, two, and three. We count those up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the denominator will end up being the same. So we have eight over 28. If I look at the numbers for that, that's two sevenths times four times four, that's one column, two column, three column, four columns, two times four is eight, and that is 28. That is an equal sign. Mm -hmm. All right, so three-fourths is equal to 21 28ths plus two-sevenths, which equals eight twenty-eighths. So in this case, I have 21 plus eight, which is 29, 28ths. Is this number more or less than 1? It's more than 1. It's more than 1 by just one more 28th. If you don't see that, that's 28 28ths plus one more 28 is 29 28ths, and that is 1 plus 1 28th, which is 1 and 1 28th. Okay, it's your turn to try. Go ahead and start by modeling three-fifths and modeling two-thirds and then getting equivalent fractions for each. Pause that video. Did you start with fifths there? And did you start with thirds? Remember, we're looking at three of those fifths, so we will shade in three, and we're looking at two of those thirds, so we will shade in two of those. So this again here is three fifths, and this here is two thirds. We're looking at two of those three parts. We'll copy that down below. So three fifths here, and we have two-thirds here, and then we just need to make those equivalent fractions. Just as we had partitioned this into three equal parts, we will partition this horizontally into three equal parts. So instead of three-fifths now, you'll notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. It is 3 by 5, which is 15, and then so this is 15 here, and then we're only looking at 9 of these. 3 fifteenths, 6 fifteenths, 9 fifteenths. So 3 fifths does equal 9 fifteenths. Over here, we had already drawn horizontal lines, so now we have to draw the vertical lines. When we are drawing vertical lines, we are drawing 4 of them to divide it into 5 equal parts. So 1, 2, three, and four. And then so again, we still have 15 in the denominator, and I'll show the numbers for this. That's two times five and three times five. Two times five is 10, and three times five is 15. This is 10 fifteenths. If you look at it, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fifteenths. So lastly, did you add them together now that you have equivalent fractions, where it is that the denominators are the same. Three-fifths plus two-thirds is nine-fifteenths plus ten-fifteenths. That there equals nineteen-fifteenths, which also equals, remember this is in between one and two, 
this is just a little bit over 1 still, so we'll have 15 fifteenths plus how many more still? Did you say 4? Hopefully you did. Equaling 1 plus 4 fifteenths, which is equal to 1 and 4 fifteenths. Some of you may have left it like this with 19 fifteenths. That's what's called an improper fraction, and we have to put it into a mixed number with the 1 and 4 fifteenths. Ideally, you are able to show the model and show the math behind each of this. 3 fifths equaling 9 fifteenths, 2 thirds equaling 10 fifteenths. Add them together, and then be able to put it back as a mixed number. Here's one last problem. I have 5 six plus 3 fourths. And then, so let's model each. 5 six we'll use verticals. 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have divided it into 6 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Those are our 6 parts, but we're only looking at 5 of those parts, or 5, 6. Remember to label it as well. So that is 5, 6. Over here for 3 fourths, we'll use horizontal lines. 1, 2, and 3. And we're looking at 3 of those, so that's 1, 2, and 3 that there is three-fourths. Not quite a hole here. Not quite a hole here. If they were holes, then it, the answer would be two. We know our answer is, in this case, less than two. And it looks like it's going to be bigger than one as well. Let's get ahead and make equivalent fractions for those. So I will make these look exactly the same first. Okay, so that's 5 6, and here's 3 fourths, and then I just have to draw some horizontal lines here. Remember, into force, 1, 2, 3 lines for force, and then this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. Let's see. Let's see what it is, though. It's 6 times 4 because it's 6 by 4, and then so that is. 5 times 4 over 6 times 4, which equals 20 24ths. Let's count them. That's 4 24ths, 8 24ths, 12 24ths, 16 24ths, and 20 24ths. The other one will be 24ths as well. We have force to begin with, 3 force that is, and vertically, We'll draw it into 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then so we have 6, 6 24 12 24 18 24 So we have 18 24 here. That's what 3 fourths is equal to. Let's just show that work really quick here. That was times 6 times 6, 18 24 um, and then let's actually add them together. So 5 6 was equal to 20 24 Again, we made an equivalent fraction. 3 4 was equal to 18 24 So that there is 38 24 which does equal 24 24 plus how many more 24 what, 24 plus what is 38? Did you say 14? So that's 1 plus 14 24 which is 1 and 14 24 And some of you might know to reduce this and simplify it. That whole number remains the same. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 24 divided by 2 is um, 12. So we have 1 and 7 twelfths as our final answer.